So now let's put our phasers that we've created into use when discussing this concept of impedance. So we've talked about how we have an AC circuit and that this voltage source right here will constantly oscillate and affect all of the components in the circuit, including the resistor, the capacitor, and the inductor. And previously, we've seen how with resistors, the relationship between voltage and current is rather straightforward. Everyone's favorite law, uh, Ohm's law, is with V equals IR. But in discussing capacitors and inductors, we saw that a capacitor has a much different behavior where the current through it is dependent upon the voltage going across it. So now imagine how complex that's going to be when this source over here is constantly oscillating and changing the voltage through the capacitor. In the same way, we also saw that the voltage across an inductor varies as the current through it varies also based upon it, its inductance. So as this source continues to oscillate, the voltages across the capacitor, the currents through the inductor, all these things are going to be oscillating. And so the behavior of the circuit is not going to be a simple sort of V equals IR. It's going to be a bit more complicated due to the frequency of the source, the amplitude of the source, and these complex behaviors here. So when dealing with AC circuits, we move to a new concept called impedance, and we represent it with the letter Z. So instead of talking about an individual resistance, a capacitance, and inductance, we're going to discuss some object's impedance. And the best way to think about that is honestly as its resistance in an AC domain. It, it's an equivalent form. It's uh, complex instead of completely real, but it's the same sort of concept of each object has an impedance and that's how it affects the behavior of the overall circuit. And, and just in the same way as we had resistance, impedance really is sort of what is the relationship between the voltage going across a component and the current flowing through that component. So, you know, where resistance is the relationship between voltage and current, um, impedance is still the same relationship, but it's in this AC sort of time-based domain. And often when talking about impedance, and from what we saw uh, in the previous videos about phasers, we know that these time domain circuits can be represented as phasers. So we will actually break these out into sort of be more complex expressions. Let's say that we have some voltage source and it's got some phase running across it and the current has some magnitude with some phase running across it. But overall, we'll represent these as both vectors and equivalently in sort of oops, polar coordinates. So the impedance, the impedance, which you want to think about as the complex resistance, is generally the relationship between the voltage signal and the current signal across a particular object. And we will draw that out as the phaser, the voltage phaser across the object, and then the current phaser flowing through some object. 